Okay, so we are going to make 70 milliliters of a 40% solution, but then we only have 32% and 60% solutions available. So the question is asking us, how many milliliters of each should we use in order to get 70 milliliters of 40%? Well, you see, these are the two things that we have. And let me draw you guys a picture to illustrate this mixture question. Let's put down the things that we have. So I'll draw cups because these are the solutions. And on the first cup, I'm going to label the percent, which is the 32% for the concentration of this solution. And for the second one, we have the 60%. So I'm going to mix these two solutions together. At the end, let me draw the third cup. What we want is the 40%, right? And notice that here we have 32% and here we have 60%. At the end, we want 40%. Do not just add the percentages together. It does not work like that. Percentages are tricky. We must follow the solution and the direction. Okay, now we have to ask ourselves, how many milliliters of the 32% do we want? Well, we don't know, right? That's exactly what we're trying to find out. So let's label this with an X for now, and then we'll solve for X in a second. And then for the 60%, once again, we don't know. I'm just going to label this with Y. And how about for the 40%? We do know we want to have a total of 70 milliliters for the 40%. So I'm going to put down 70 right here. And from this, we can come up with our first equation because this is how many milliliters that we have for the 32%. And this is however many milliliters of the 60% solution. If we add these two up together, we must get a total of 70%. All right. So this is the first equation. And in order for us to get the next one, let's look at all the concentrations and change all the percents into decimals. Here we have 32%. I'm going to move the decimal once, twice to the left. This is the same as 0 0.32. Likewise, 60% will be 0 0.60, but let me just put down 0 0.6. 40% is the same as just 0 0.4. And what we do next is, we are going to multiply the concentration with the volume together. So for the first one, we will have 0 0.32 times x. And then for the second one, we will multiply 0 0.6 times y. And then we also have to do the same thing for the third one. Take 0 0.4 and then we multiply by 70. Concentration times the volume, okay? This is how you keep everything balanced. At the end, this equation right here, we can come up with a second equation by just adding this two up together, then that's equal to this. So here we have it. This is a system equation that we can solve. All right, so this is how I'm gonna solve it. I'm going to write down the second equation first because I want to solve this right here. I want to work this out. 0 0.4 times 70, that's 28. So for the second equation, let me put down 0.32x plus 0.6y, and that's equal to 28. And well, this is a system of equations, and as you can see, all the x and y are lined up. In my opinion, it's easier to use the elimination method. Okay, the elimination method usually is easier than the substitution. So I will do that right here for you guys. And let's just say I want to get rid of the x. So to do that, you see the second equation, we have a positive 0 0.32. So I'm just going to multiply the first equation by negative 0 0.32 throughout the first equation. This way, let's see, we have negative 0 0.32 times x, that's just negative 0 0.32x. As you can see, this and this will cancel out in a minute. But then we still have to continue. We take negative 0 0.32 times y, that's minus 0 0.32y, and that will be equal to, we also have to multiply this and that, negative 0 0.32 times 70, that will be negative 22.4. And then we are going to work with these two equations. And to do that, we'll just add them up. And when we add them up, negative 0 0.32x, cancel with this positive 0.32x. 
And then what we have is negative 0 0.32y plus 0 0.6y. These two together is going to be 0 0.28y. And that's equal to negative 22.4 plus 28. That will give us positive 5.6. And then this is 0 0.28 times y. That's divide both sides by 0 0.28. This way, this and that cancel. And then we can get the y by itself. y is equal to, if you work out 5.6 over 0 0.28, you are going to get 20. Okay, you can do that on the calculator, and the answer is 20. Be careful with the decimal places and the decimal point. And then we're actually not done yet because we still have to find out the x. So let's refer back to our original question. Our, our original equations, we can plug in 20 into either equation, and that's just plugging into the first one, x plus y is equal to 70, because the numbers right here are easier to work with. So we have the x plus the y, which we know now, that has to be 20, and that should be equal to 70. And from here we can solve for x. Pretty easy, that's just minus 20 on both sides, and we can get the x by itself x is equal to 70 minus 20, that's 50. Alright, so we solve our system of, of equations. We know x is 50 and y is equal to 20, but then this is we must answer the question according to the story. So what does the x stands for, right? We know x is 50. Well, if you look back to the picture, x is the amount of the milliliters that we have to use for the 32% solution. So I'm going to write it down this way. This is how we are going to answer more problems. We are going to have 50 milliliter of the 32% solution. And how about the 20? 20 is the 20 milliliter for the 60% solution. So let me just write this down. 20 milliliter of the 60% solution. And this is how we answer word problems. And that's it. And let me know if you guys have any questions on the comment below. I'll see you. Bye.